Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new. Today we are doing Legacy. I'm really, really sorry that I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days. The worst possible thing happened. I, <laughs> I updated my game. Well, it was against my will to be honest, but as you guys know, The Sims had a huge update. It broke mods. And apparently it broke CC this time too. And only on my legacy family lot. I sat down to film the other day. Everything was fine. Clicked on the lot, press play, infinite loading screen. It happened a few times. So I was like, oh no, my legacy family is officially broken. My legacy family is officially gone. So I have spent the last two days troubleshooting. I moved them out. And then I tried to like go into build mode on the lot and that's how I figured out what was wrong. It wasn't necessarily the family that was broken, it was the lot. There was some kind of build C, a piece of build CC on the lot that was ruining my entire game. So what I had to do was <laughs> take out all of my build CC and like, filter it back in, kind of like the 50-50 method, like put the CC back in batches, hop into my game, test it. If it worked, fine, those CCs were good. I exit out the game, add more CC, go back into the game, see if it would load. Good, add more CC. Oh, it doesn't work? Okay, there's something in this batch that's broken. So I left that batch out and I just had to keep doing it with all of my build CC. <sighs> It sucks so bad because I have been curating my build CC folder for years, years and years. I don't know where I get half the from, but a lot of it is no longer in my game. I still have to like, you know, keep filtering and keep working on it. But I was able to get most of it back in and the family is working now. So thank God, because it scared the living crap out of me. I didn't want to start the lot over. I didn't want to lose my family. I was like freaking out guys, like actual freaking out because this is, this is my baby family. This is my, my baby, this family. <laughs> we are almost to 100 episodes of this freaking challenge. And I was gonna just, I was gonna just lose it if this family was lost, you know? It was like be the cherry on top of a really horrific couple of months, but it's okay. There's no need to freak out. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Let's get into today's episode, shall we? So a couple of you guys, oh, also my reshade isn't working. Yeah, we're, this episode is gonna be without a reshade and I can like really, really tell and it sucks. I just have to like re-download it, which is fine. It'll be back to normal in the next episode. But yeah, this update broke a lot of stuff. So if you use reshades and it's not working, you just have to re un uninstall and reinstall and it should work after that. But anyway, a lot of you guys were suspecting that the restaurant that we were at had a romantic aura and that's why everyone was on their worst behavior. Um, unfortunately, that is not the reason. My Sims were just being dumb. This restaurant has no traits. This one has a romantic aura, but we weren't there. Um, yeah, this, this one is like nothing. There's nothing there. Nothing, no outside influence as to why they were acting that way. I also want to hop into Evangeline's household really quick. I know that we're not supposed to play other households in this challenge, but I'm not gonna play. I just wanna see. I just wanna see what her relationship with Jamie is like right now, because I wanna know like how she feels about the whole situation. If she cares, if she, if her relationship is completely ruined because she was sitting right there when it was all happening. So like, how did it not affect her? You know, it had to have. I have Agua Fresca today. Sandia, my favorite. All right, let's have a look. Okay. How is that even possible? Let's be so for real right now. How? It's pretty funny though that she finds him unattractive. Is that because of what happened? Is she in denial, you guys? She might be in denial. I'm not really sure. But yeah, um, soulmates, amazing compatibility. They're still engaged. I guess the bathroom wedding didn't go through, but yeah, she finds him unattractive. And also, um, Egg, you said that Jamie was loyal, but I don't see that trait anywhere. Um, I don't even know if the loyal trait like prevents Sims from uh, <laughs> cheating. But yeah, I think I think she might be in denial. I, she might be. I don't know. Maybe she just needs a, a good talking to from her family. 
Um, she also had her baby. Her baby's name is Samantha. So cute. <clears throat> People call me Samantha all the time. I'm just like, no, that that that's not my name. <laughs> uh, but anyway, okay. Just wanted to check on you. I'm so sad right now. TwitchCon is happening and I'm not there. Oh, I haven't gone the last two years. It just falls at like a really like inconvenient time. Yeah, I can't wait to see where it's gonna be next year. I hope it's in San Diego again. I hope it's just there like from now on. <laughs> also, um, I have blue light glasses. I've been sitting at my computer a lot lately trying to fix this. And I've also been playing Coral Island a lot. And these are, yeah, they're blue light. Like I've been getting like headaches from staring at my screen. So this, this helps. They do really help a lot. <laughs> but yeah, utterly and completely obsessed with Coral Island at the moment. I am in winter of my first year. Yeah, it's really, <clears throat> it's really got my attention. So yeah, 91 build items have been removed. 26 build items have been substituted. Gosh, the game, it's so, it's so just bland without the reshade. Bums me out. <laughs> um, I also, I furnished, this before my game broke for um edison and eloise looks like it needs it needs a little refresh i is i don't know what the freaking um what is happening here yeah it's it's super simple in here they just have um a kitchen his computer their bed a, a little bathroom nothing too crazy yeah their end tables are missing Hmm. Mm, okay. Yeah, kind of sucks. I don't think that I've ever taken out any build CC ever in my however many years of playing this game. It's all just been in there. <laughs> I knew, like, I knew it was just a matter of time before, like, my game broke. I have been skating along. Um. Oh my god, it's so ugly in here. I need to redo this as well. Uh, I've just been like skating along every update, just kind of like fingers crossed, hoping that my game wouldn't break. Yeah, we're missing uh, the island as well. Oh my goodness. This is really unfortunate. I think I'm pretty sure I had to take out all of my Peacemaker stuff. I don't know if that was the cause though, but yeah, it's definitely not in here. That'll do. All right, we've got our dining table still. We have our couch. Uh, I am missing, there was a bookshelf here. There was a seat right here, like a chase. Okay, we can just do this one instead, I guess. I really hate that, like, my reshade. <laughs> I forgot to install it before I started filming and my game takes so long to like boot up that I am, I'm willing to like film a video without it rather than sit around and wait for it to like load <laughs> again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay. Yeah, the house is, it's not as cute as it was, but it's okay. Oh, I'll handle, I'll deal with it. Okay, so that'll do, that'll do for now. I'll fix it more later. In the last episode, a lot happened. Our fiance cheated on us. Oh shoot, I forgot to put wallpaper in this room. It's okay. Um, our fiance cheated on us with our aunt's fiance. Oh, I also gave Eloise like a small makeover, an elder one. Um, and I also gave Sarah a new hair. Here, let's just hop into cast so I can show you guys. Yeah, our fiance cheated on us with our aunt's fiance and they took it really, really far. They took it far. It was almost as if it was like love at first sight for them. Um, so I ended up moving Evangeline out with her baby into their own house. And then I moved in Stacy with Jamie so that they could be happy together. So yeah, we are on the hunt for a new partner. I gave Sarah new hair. I thought since she's an adult now, she could rock like shorter hair she she chopped it starting fresh <laughs> i gave her a couple of new outfits i love this dress on her so i just changed the swatch we have um this one that's not new what, what the heck why is it so green this one i thought that was super adorable this is from for rent and then this one you guys kind of get the vibes of her her style now as an adult her formal wear 
Um, what else did I change? Her sleepwear. This is her party wear now. This is just, I, I love this outfit. It's chef's kiss, it's perfect. She looks so good. She has a six pack as well. <laughs> Where did that even come from? Her swimwear, hot weather, it has not changed. And then cold weather, this is, this is kind of new. But yeah, that is um, Sarah's little refresh. This is Eloise's refresh. I gave her um, a different hair. Um, still kept the braids though. Here's her sure. two everyday outfits. Oh. Uh, her formal, athletic. I didn't really change much, just a couple things. Yep, there she is. There she is. And then with Edison, I, what did I do for Edison? I don't even know. Oh, I did, I changed his hair. Um, if things do look a little bit different, it's because of, I just like was trying to figure out what was wrong with my game. I at first thought he had like way darker eyes before. I at first thought it was like, cast something cast so i took out a lot of my like icc and and some other things so like things are gonna be, look a little bit different um yeah just because of like i was like trial and error trying to figure out what was wrong with my game but anyway these are his fits now uh i guess i didn't really change much i kind of just changed his hair and the, his everyday outfit and i gave him like some wrinkles as well and that oh, is uh it Huh? Good grief. Uh. Why are you yelling? Also, is that loud? I feel like that might be a bit loud. I just, I can't believe all of that happened. I wanted to upload these past couple days. I just couldn't. This is uh, my reminder to you to back up your saves. <laughs> Take out your CC and mods before you update because I have never done that and I regret it. All right, y'all, let's have a look at the calendar here. Wow, there's absolutely nothing to do for three days, four days. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing. Uh, oh, we got July 4th on Friday. Okay, okay, and then um, Sarah, let's see here, you are level seven in your job. It looks like you're gonna get promoted very, very soon. Um, see here. Brianna is the one that I would like to hang out with some more, get to know, but it's currently 1 a.m. So we probably, we should probably <laughs> wait until the morning to ask her to hang out. Yeah, when I thought I was gonna lose the house, my main concern was like down, he down here and then like the room with the, the alien plants. So I should probably like upload those two rooms to my gallery <laughs> so that I can place them again if I ever need to. But holy crap, that was like so stressful, guys. I was like, I was scared. But anyway, uh, it's all good now. I can stop talking about it. What are you making? Did you make enough for us? Nope, he didn't. Okay, great. Let's have a Caesar salad. She looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I really like her style. Prank day was awful. Oh no. Anyway, enjoy that Caesar salad. I absolutely love Caesar salad, so I'm really jealous right now. Also, Eloise is sad because she's, um, she's very unsatisfied for some reason. Why are you sleeping in Sarah's bed? Eric Campos has started a job as a watercolor dabbler. Nice. Okay, come sleep in your, your actual bed. Please. Maybe you should woohoo. Oh, actually, I don't know. Do you want to woohoo with Eloise? That's like kind of risky. It's a little bit risky. Maybe just like give her a little kiss. You guys were saying that you can like, if there's Sims woohooing in the rocket ship, you can go on the computer and watch. Other Sims can go on the computer and watch. That is so, that is so, that's insane. It's so risque. <laughs> All right, Edison, you got you gotta you gotta give her some attention. She she's not happy with you right now. I still don't know what goose is. He just like touches the butt and that's it. Ask to cuddle. Hopefully this helps. It's getting late. Your eyes are closed, but mine are wide awake. All right, I really want Sarah to max her her romance skill, so I'm having her watch some reality TV. Ren, let's work on your nectar making over here as well. I think it's pretty cool that she can make freaking plasma nectar. I think she should make that exclusively. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. They're so cute. 
I love that for them, really, I do. But she's really got a pee, so. All right, girl, yep, let's max this, here we go. Hearing your friend's archeological or arche How come I have such a hard time with that freaking word, dude? Dude, seriously, Dolly? You just come in here and take a shit on the floor? What the hell? <gasps> she got promoted, guys! Matchmaker or relationship counselor? I get relationship counselor vibes from her, but let me see. If you are skilled at connecting hearts, using your intuition and professional skills to help individuals find their perfect romantic match, look no further. The matchmaker career is for you. Relationship counselor, do you have the ability to help Sims face their fears, work through their emotions, and find love again in relationships? The relationship counselor path might be for you. <sighs> yeah. 195 and 210. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're already <laughs> rich. But let's do relationship counselor. <gasps> Look at her outfit. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my God. I can't. Oh my God. So adorable. I want you to max your <laughs> romance skill. So let's come downstairs and do that. Dude, this outfit is actually so cute. I, I love it that. I love that for her. I also love her new hair. She looks so darling. Okay, I'm gonna start a club gathering so that Evangeline comes over so we can talk some sense into old girl. She's gonna age up at any moment. Not Agnes being on this reality dating show. What were our rewards for the promotion anyway? Romance counselor uniform. Okay, that's what she's wearing right now. It's so cute. I actually love that outfit. She's almost maxed it, y'all. I'm so excited to see what we could do. Make friendship bracelet? Aw, I didn't know you can make friendship bracelets from the cross stitching box. All right, what happened? You didn't max it. Okay, but Evangeline is here. So let's have a talk with her. I think that like, I think that Sarah would be the perfect person because of her job, you know? Give relationship advice. Okay, let's do that. And uh, giving relationship advice, that means telling her to leave Jamie because uh, of what he did. She needs someone to tell her how it is, you know? Because, I mean, I have no doubt that she loves him. She doesn't want to see him that way, but someone needs to tell her. Where'd she go? Oh my God, she totally ran away from us. She's like, I'm not trying to hear this. Break up with Jamie. We need to tell her. We need to tell her straight up. Also, I totally, yeah, I totally forgot that it was Sarah's partner. So, like, these two are the victims here. She's like, I left Stacy. You need to leave Jamie. I'm so serious right now. Who are you to tell me what to do? I love Jamie and you won't change that. I just, I can't believe that love blinds us like this. Evangeline. Listen to me, you need to leave him. He is trash. Break up with him. Oh my God. I can't stand to listen to this anymore. In case you weren't aware, Jamie and I are extremely close. Stop bad mouthing him. Gosh, I don't know. Maybe she needs to hear it from Edison. This isn't working. Oh my God. She listens to Edison. That's honestly really, really sweet. Just likes gardening. Okay, that's fine. That's actually really sweet. She listens to Edison. I guess we are just, wait, I guess we are not that great of a couple. I should just end it already. It's not that you guys are a horrible couple. It's just what he did to you. Don't blame yourself. Are you kidding me right now? It's not even about that. My poor dear. Sarah's like, all right, fine. I guess I'll just leave. You're not gonna listen to me, but you'll listen to him. Fine. I'm gonna go eat some cold cuts. My head's starting to hurt. Head hurts from the lights. Head hurts from the glasses. I can't win. Anyway, we were supposed to go on a date. <laughs> I guess we still could. Just our energy's really low. Oh, one of you guys said that like wiping the minds of Stacy and Jamie would have been a cool storyline too and i agree and a couple of you guys also said like screw the rules just move evangeline and the baby back in <laughs> none of us are gonna care and i'm just like oh man i know but i'll i'll care i really am trying hard not to break the rules i don't know what rules i've broken so far but yeah maybe evangeline will find someone new Okay, let's ask her on a date before it gets too late. Brianna, since when did you have vitiligo? 
What happened to your eyes? Oh, whoa, she's all kind of messed up. Ew, not Jamie being here. Does that mean that that Stacy is too? Oh, she's all better now. Oh, I think she was merged with someone. <clears throat> we should totally say something to him though. I wish I had Woohoo Wellness installed still. This would be so spicy if I did. How dare you? How dare you? Good, good my ass, bro. Ain't no, ain't no good sin would do what you did. I hope you guys are real happy with each other. Just know that Evangeline's gonna break up with you and 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 you're gonna be miserable. You just lost the best lady you could hope for. Anyways, sorry, Brianna, sorry you had to see that. Go away, you're not stealing another one of my dates. Get out of here, go, go. She's like, yeah. All right, what shall we do? Shall we watch the sky, watch the stars with Brianna? I don't know how uh, much that helps with our relationship, but I think we should do it anyway. I think it's real cute. Oh, why don't you get out of your work outfit? It's really, really cute and everything, but. <laughs> Aww, it's raining. Oh my God, we did it. We maxed the romance skill. <laughs> Sarah can now perform aura of flirtiness on herself. What's that? Aura of flirtiness. Wait, I probably should have looked to see what it was first. Doesn't say. All right. Nah. Okay. What is that? Does it just like make her flirty? There's just something about the air in this place. The flirtiness is overwhelming. <laughs> okay, so it just makes her really flirty instantly. That's pretty cool. Oh, kissing in the rain. How sweet. <laughs> Steamy. Oh no. I'm sensing a pattern. Huh? Sarah has learned Charlie's romantic boundaries? Who the heck is Charlie and why do we care? Okay, I also need to see oh 14 out of 42 so she's gonna be a little bit older than us but that's okay at least she's not aging up soon i guess she's not gonna autonomously ask rihanna to be her romantic partner this time which is fine she's probably taking it at least a little bit slow do you guys need need some space do we do you need some privacy oh my god <sighs> She's feeling very satisfied, but she thinks that Sarah is unattractive. If you must know, I'm not attracted to you. I actually find you unattractive. Well, what if we share some things about us? Will that change anything? Because I don't think she knows much about us yet. So how, how, how would she know? Share some personal details, maybe? That makes me really sad, guys. <laughs> Okay, I shared I shared all my my personality quirks and details with her. Do you still find us unattractive? Didn't we go over this already? Oh no. Okay. Um um Are we is it our physical appearance? Is it our personality? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna be with someone who finds us unattractive, even if we are quote unquote soulmates. Wow, this is a lot harder. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like we just got broken up with. She's like, I, I love you. I love your personality. I'm just, I'm just so unattracted to you. <laughs> On to the next, I suppose. A couple, of you, uh, a couple of you guys are still asking her to date the guy that we were enemies with in high school the enemies to lovers trope, but I've already decided that I want Sarah to be with a girl. So we're just like, we're just going on, um, going on dates with girls right now. Oh, <sighs> well, hello darkness, my old friend. Time to open Cupid's corner again. Millie, ambitious and generous. I like it. Casey, child of the islands and squeamish. We like squeamish sims, apparently. <laughs> we got a kleptomaniac who's ambitious. Okay. Kelly. Adventurous and horse lover. Camille, hot-headed, ADHD. 
She looks kind of interesting. <laughs> um, Kara, good and insider. We're also, no, we're not an insider, we're a dance machine, but I feel like that, that's pretty good. I'm very interested in Camille for some reason. She looks really interesting in her eyes. I don't know, let's hang out with her and see what happens. We might have to change the ADHD trait. That is a custom trait and custom traits don't really work the legacy challenge, like uh, the trait system, like the when we have a kid and stuff. So I'll probably have to change it if uh, if things go further with her. Okay, here we are and here she is. Um, I really want to know what kind of a cult she is, because what the heck? She's a spellcaster. Okay, cool. Sarah has learned about Camille's financial status and Camille is apparently pretty wealthy. Good for you, Camille. This is the restaurant where we got food poisoning from that random ceviche, but it's such a cute, it's such a cute restaurant. I don't, why can't I request a table? Why is nothing working? Come on, I just want to sit down. Our date is bored. Look, I'm trying to get us a table, okay? It's not my fault. Half of our date is over because of the service here. That's insane. Okay, well, I guess we won't be eating then. It's fine. <laughs> this outfit of hers is crazy. I heard he became friends with Jamie Fraser. He's pretty cool. Seriously, mom, you would say something like that. Uh oh, she's angry. There's that hot headed trait coming out. Okay, this isn't working. They have no chemistry whatsoever. Yeah, thumbs down to you too. That was the worst date I've ever been on. Be insulted by Camille. I can't. I guess that's what I get for trying to go on a date with a hot headed sim. Okay, Casey. Child of the Islands in Squeamish, Evergreen Harbor. All right, let's see if she wants to hang out. Is there anywhere in Evergreen Harbor that we can go? There is not, there is absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to this one in Strangerville. Gosh, is she gonna be like another Edison? Just like completely unsuccessful in finding love? Okay, um, here she is. This is... Casey Dew, are you married? Parents, Abigail, oh my gosh, wow. So Abigail and Edison were friends. They actually had, they didn't go on any dates, but they almost did and then she went and got married and had a kid and this is her. Well, let's see how this goes. I know she's bald <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> Give her a makeover <laughs> later. <laughs> Philpin. Encourage sex education. Oh my god, I can't. Sarah has learned more about Casey and is now unattracted to her. Animal enthusiast. What? Why are you unattracted to that? That should be a good thing. Wait, it says attracted. I'm so confused. Wait. Oh, is now attracted to her. Okay, I was like, huh? Okay, well, this is good. This is good. Animal enthusiast, squeamish, and child of the islands. Good compatibility. It's not, that's not horrible, but okay. Well, let's ask her cause I'm not trying to like waste my time here. We should definitely share some things about us first. This is such a cute restaurant. We're definitely not going to sit by the fountain. Way too, oh, I remember. Yes, we came here. We came here with Eloise, Edison and Eloise, yes. Oh, already? Casey is enjoying the date and would like to spend more time together? Perhaps you would like to extend the date. Yeah, of course. We haven't even gotten a table yet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm down to make the date longer. She must like us. Finally. Not our ex being here. Oh my god, don't tell me dine out's broken again. I can't seem to get a table anywhere. I thought updates were supposed to fix things, not break them even more. Yep, it's official. Dine out is freaking broken. So sick. Whoa, they have a little bit of romance. How did that happen? Okay, yeah, this is fine. You guys can sit here and get to know each other a little bit. All right, turn ons, clean sims, pessimists, turn offs, career minded sims, family motivated sims, funny sims, and homebodies. Oh, geez. 
gray hair, blue clothes, yellow clothes, turn off streetwear and brown clothes. Oh no, we're wearing an all brown outfit. All right, well, I guess we should probably ask do you find us attractive now that you know everything about us should we change <laughs> you're all right i guess okay i guess that's better than thinking we're unattractive right like neutral don't mind me i'm gonna just eat this avocado really quick i'm starving <laughs> we couldn't get a table i'm so hungry they're just chatting guys nothing too crazy um, but it looks like she's got black hair, hazel eyes. She's really, really pale. Those are like jeans that we don't really have in Legacy, especially the dark hair or the black hair. I mean, it's always brown or blonde. <laughs> well, how did it turn into a suggestive conversation? And the romantic satisfaction begins. <laughs> She's really making her rounds, guys. She is making her rounds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're running out of time. We're running out of time. Our biological clock. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just messing around. Both very satisfied. That's good. I'm glad. Mm, steamy again. My goodness. Okay. I want something meaningful. I want something worthwhile. Oh my god, that doesn't make any sense. Turn on's woohoo, turn off's affection. Huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop into Kaz. I'm gonna give her some hair and stuff. All right, let's see. Why is Crystal? Oh, wow. No way. Crystal. Crystal is our friend from high school. This is her sister. Oh, how interesting. <gasps> Casey has a son. Jim. Oh, who's the dad? So it's two sisters, Casey's son, and oh, three sisters. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, she looks exactly like Abigail. <laughs> All right, I don't understand why everything is showing up as green as if everything's new. Did they really like update that much stuff? How interesting. She's gorgeous though. Super, super pretty. All right, I'm gonna keep it simple. This is the hair that I'm gonna give her. We could change it later if uh, things escalate. Now, I don't believe I have my lashes in my game right now. I don't, yes. And that's because uh, they were broken. So I need to update them and then put them back in my game. <clears throat> so <laughs> I've got my reshade to fix and I've got my, my lashes to fix as well, but it's okay. I have these other lashes that we could use for now. And now that we have the copy and paste thingy, it's all good. It is all good. These ones are not updated, it looks like. Yeah, those need to be fixed too. Oof, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. These work. We just need a little bit of eyeliner to like fill in the gap. Okay, now let's dress you. Oh, we're in hot weather. What is your everyday? Ah, oh, crap. That's cute. I like her vibe. She's giving me Billie Eilish a little bit. <laughs> I like it though, it's a good thing. I think she looks really cute. I like it a lot. All right, um, her hot weather. <sighs> Why does this kind of slap? <laughs> Hang on, let me just change the swatches really quick. Okay, I love that so much, that's really cute. It's not very hot weather outfit, but that's okay. And then cold weather, this is the last one. These are really the only ones that we're gonna see. Just a coat, some pants, and some big boots. Ooh, this outfit's actually screaming for a beanie as well. Okay, since she's an animal enthusiast, we'll give her, we'll give her the animal hat. <laughs> All right, Casey, you're done. You look so cute. Don't tell me. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this dog. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what breed you are, but A, A. Gosh, why? Why do you do this? Why, why is that a thing? Sorry if you guys are getting bored of all the dating. It's just kind of like 
the phase that we're in right now, yeah, my main focus is retiring and having kids. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys like Casey, she might be the one. She's got really good traits, to be honest. Child of the Island makes sense for us because of our our time in Solani. Animal enthusiast because we have to take care of all the animals. And then squeamish. I don't know. That one's a little bit random, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah, they could totally take trips to Solani together. I think they, that would be adorable. All right, we are home. She's feeling really good about that date. She's stoked. Uh, yeah, she is starving though. We couldn't. I'm so mad that dine out is broken again. I don't. I don't think it's me, because none of the restaurants have CC in them. Dude, this girl is always unsatisfied. Literally always. Well. Edison is chatting on his computer again. He's got a sad mood. You guys were speculating that maybe Edison was chatting to Eloise on the computer and that's why he was on it all the time. But uh, Eloise is here now, so who's he chatting with? Let's, let's, let's be honest. I would be unsatisfied too if I was Eloise. Oh, don't cry. It's okay. Look at that little lip quiver. You poor dear. <gasps> what the? Eloise is proposing to Edison. Yo! I wasn't gonna have them get married. I was just gonna have them live their their days together. The rest of their days together, just just not. <laughs> okay. Um. Is he gonna say yes? <gasps> he said yes. Aww. Okay, that's kind of cute. I think like a little small, a small elopement would be to work. Sarah, why are you riding the horse in the house? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Congratulations, Edison. <laughs> I can't. The only want that she has is to woohoo with Brianna. The who is obviously Brianna. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset that Brianna is not into us like that. So we need to reach level five logic skill, which means that we need, we need a chess table. I think a chess table might be nice to have like out here on the porch. I can't believe Eloise proposed to him. She's feeling, she's still feeling like unsatisfied in the relationship she she must need a lot hope they're okay from having a wholesome romance dynamic seeing a lover in distress has really put a damper on edison's mood oh yeah he does care about her that's really sweet i want them to woohoo but i'm scared that they'll die <laughs> the heck are you doing ren play in water really I fenced it in, but she's the only one that can get to it because she can... What? How the hell are our chickens already dying? They're not even old. That's actually insane. Has it really been that long? There's 59 eggs in there. Who put the feet outside the fence? I swear these ranch hands. They don't know what they're doing. What are you cooking? Almond macaroons, oh yum. Man, I really just wanna get pregnant, guys. I, my impatience is rearing its ugly head. Um. <laughs> oh, let's check out Cupid's Corner real quick. There might be some more girls on there that have nice traits. Whoever we're with has to like having a horse in the house cause that's just how it is. Not Crystal being on here too. <laughs> <laughs> this is Casey's sister. A generous perfectionist. Hmm. I like it. Romantic genius. Hmm. She's pretty too. I am convinced though that... <laughs> that, uh... I'm convinced that Jamie and Stacy flirted with each other in the first place because they are both romantic. You put two romantic sims in a room together. Nine times out of ten, they'll probably flirt with each other. I don't know. Do you guys have that issue too with romantic sims? I'm, I'm trying to find a reason for it. 
Cammy didn't pick up the phone. It sure sounded like she did. She has amazing compatibility with Alana. Alana is one of the people that we just matched with. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not going to go on a date. I'm just going to like invite him over and see. See what's up. She's extremely unique looking. I love her eyes. Let's tell her that. <laughs> Tell her exactly what I just said, Sarah. Hello. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm not attracted to you. I actually find you unattractive. All right, bet. Go home. <laughs> Leave. Cammy, your turn. This is speed dating if I've ever freaking seen it. All right, Cammy Santiago. Hmm, interesting. Oh, she's a young adult. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what I've been doing is sharing my personal details, sharing my personality quirks, and then seeing if they think that we're attractive. Well, she's got clay, so that's kind of a bad start. You're all right, I guess. Man, I give up. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, maybe uh, we should just have a science baby and not worry about being in a relationship right now. Maybe it'll just come with time. Maybe I'm just trying to force it too much. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know. What the hell is going on over here? What is that? Oh, that was a very sparkly corn dog. My goodness. <laughs> Well, I'm going to wrap it up right here. In the next episode, we're either going to keep dating or we're just going to have a science baby. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what you want to see because we need to keep this going. We need to... Because what if... What if Sarah just has a bunch of boys? I mean, a bunch of girls. What if she has... One, two, three, four, five... What if she has three girls? The household will be full and we'll have to wait for Edison and Eloise to pass away before we can have more kids. I would just rather not stress about it. So we need to start having kids ASAP, whether it be with someone or just a science baby with Sarah, 38 days, 38 days. <laughs> I may be, uh, I may be um, being dramatic. I'm not really sure, but you know, better safe than sorry. I love you guys though. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, as always, as always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys. Ooh, that was a good stretch. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Love you so much. Bye.